Welcome to this introduction to the um, ZT Multi-Tool, uh, the handheld version of the ZT Pro, it's a um, little baby brother. Um, so this will do spade end hair rigs, straight spade end hook lengths and also uh, eyed hair rigs with the standard knotless knot. I think one of the uh, advantages of, of having a handheld ZT multi-tool is because it does everything. Um, you know, we all do our preparation at home and some people, you know, will have the ZT Pro and they'll have loads of hook lengths already done. When you're going away on a festival, you just don't know what's going to happen. And you might not necessarily want to take your whole hook tying station with you. You can take this with you um just in case uh river anglers we all know that a lot of river anglers like to tie on the bank um i you know i know a few anglers that have sort of three handheld hook tires with hooks all, all in them ready on the side tray when they're on the river you know hook gets blunt bite it off tie another one so that's where this really comes in because it all it it's totally mobile uh, you can bring it on the bank, take it away with you, um, and still tie every kind of hook length that you need, really. Right, so how do you use it? Dead simple. You've got a thumb wheel here. So under that thumb wheel, enough so the hook jaws open. And then put your hook in. It's not going to move, um, really good, we call it mega grip technology which has a, an inset in there so it's got a little bit of give so that hook does not move. So come round here and then what you're doing is you're starting at the top, you just do one rotation until it starts to grip and then you start whipping down. Give it a few turns, and then you use your index finger and push that up. Come round, and then track your line. You're okay then. You've, everything's sort of held in place. You can snip the excess off. Wet your knot. Always wet your knot. And press this in here. Just ease the line down, like that. And then you just, last process, just press the line release. Give it a tug, and there you have it. Perfectly tied hook. We've showed you how to do a straight hook length. Now, it's a multi-tool, so it does multiple things. So, it'll do hair rigs, it'll do both types. When I say both types, it'll do spade end hair rigs and eyed hair rigs, okay? So what this is, it comes with two pins. One like this. And a longer one. Or big, big hairs when you want a real long hair. Almond bread, big pieces of meat, all of that stuff. Or fishing on the river. Big pellets for barbel. So, put the pin in, and then it comes with a tool to just lock that off. I generally, once this is set, it's pretty much right for me, um, for all length hairs, because you can move the hook within the jaws for fine adjustment. If you want it to be a lot longer, then you can use that tool to do it. I want the hair to be fairly short. Now I can make it really short by pushing this further in. But I'm fishing for carp today, so I want it just a little bit longer. Put the hook jaws in, like that. Then, spool between my legs. 
and then come round. Now I'm starting at the top. Start at the top, you want to do at least one full rotation at the top and then you keep the line down and start whipping. And then when you've whipped down so long, you then come round that prong there. Push the pin up and then that's the line trapped. And what that enables you to do is get your band slide it onto the line down to the bottom okay and then what you're going to do is just release that line trap okay make sure that you keep the line going around that prong and then what you're doing now is you're finishing off with one two three rotations okay and then push the prong up trap the line cut the excess wet the knot always wet the knot press the button there and then just tease the line down making sure that it's coming off the front of the spade release the line trap release the hook give it a tug cut the excess and there you have it the spade end Eric spade end hook Eric A standard hair rig with knotless knot. It's slightly different because you, you're starting with your piece of line. So we get a band. Band out the packet. That's all there. And then what I'm going to do. Spread that onto the line and then I'm going to do just a standard overhand loop. Go for a couple of times, once, twice. Right, before I tighten that up, what I generally use, I use the Allen key that comes with your multi-tool. Put that into there, into that hole and then pull it and what that does allows me to create a tiny little loop pull that wet it pull it tight right now cut the tang end off now I'm ready to do me not what's not now traditionally people do it with the fingers and I don't know about you but when I've done so many, I end up getting cramp in my fingers and I struggle to get the whipping right down. So, you can use the multi-tool. And this is how you use it. This is how you use it, okay? So, get your favourite eyed hook. Okay. put it into the jaws and then what I tend to do is I'll have a bit of point showing because I, I want to whip past the point okay so I've got quite a bit of point showing there so what I'm gonna do I've set the hair length what I want it to be so I know that it's gonna be exactly the same every single time so there's no variation. I'm not sort of guessing. So all I do is I get my line, I come through the back of the eye, pull it along, and then what I'm gonna do is that tiny little loop that I created, I'm gonna put on the prong. So I'll put it on the prong there, 
okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start whipping down you're fine with this using this you get dead dead neat whipping no sort of over wraps and I you because everything's held in place you can just I just pull the whipping up so just keep going Keep going. Nice tight whipping. But sometimes when you do it by hand, you think, oh yeah, that whipping's right down to the bottom and then you pull the knot tight and it all pulls up. With this, you can just do it because you're not all fingers and thumbs. And like for QM ones, or that haven't got a really long shank, what you can do is just lift it up round the point each time as you come round, like that. There you go. Right, so now, I've done enough whippings, I'm happy with that. Just pull the line, put my finger on to trap it on the side. Now what I'm going to do, get the other end, and grab it. And I'm going to come through the back of the eye again. And then I just pull that tight. And that's it, I've got... A normal hair rig with the same length hair every single time. If I wanted that to be shorter, I can shorten it. I can have it so short so that it's touching the shank if I need it, or I can have it longer. Um, if I put a quick stop on, I would put that on the end of the prong. And what that'll do, that'll, that automatically sets it so that it's at the bottom of the bait, so it increases the length of the actual hair without you having to adjust it every single time. And there you have it.